So I'm gonna mount it here. Looks like we cut it here. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna add a piece of uh, aluminum to push this one up against the plexi glass. Okay, so I just cut it like this. Show you. That way is much more efficiency. The light. See? Perfect. So that way, I'm gonna come the wire from this side. Uh, oops. Here. And here, okay? Show you. Then I'm gonna add the aluminum foil just from here. I think this is good enough. Okay. I don't want to put on this side because it may not have a problem to fit in. So I just want to make sure it... Uh, okay. Now, we're going to put it back the... Uh, Aluminum foil. So we're gonna put the light. Let me see here. Yeah, the clip is here. Like this. This end first. Snaps right back. See, perfect on this end. Okay. Now we're gonna get this one here. Just put it right back. It's in. The next thing, I'm gonna bend all these clips and solder these two. So I just bend, put those clip bend back to the normal position, and then I solder this two. See, easy. This one you can connect to either end, and this is just connect to black to uh, ground or negative. Uh, white to 12 volt or 24 volt. That's it. Thank you for watching. Okay, I just finished a uh, you know solder these two bands back to the circuit board and all these things and add a piece of tip to secure a uh, the wires. Let's take a look how we're gonna mount the LED driver here. Um, so originally it will mount like this. The cable come this side. So let me see if I can put it here, anywhere here. Just a little bit height issues here, so we can mount it here. We can maybe mount it on the on the top. So let's take a look here. Let let me put a better screw. So I couldn't mount it inside, so we had to find a space to mount it. But before we do that, uh, I want to put all the screw back and then take a look again. Well, just put back the four screws, clean the screen a little bit, flick overs, and get this touch screens. Okay, and put it in here. Yeah. Well, since I couldn't mount the the the, in, the LED driver in between, so I might want to try to mount it somewhere here. If so, let me take a back cover, um, see if it can fit in or not. But so let's see. Yeah, it's pretty good. So next thing we're gonna find out the supply voltage because original one was have the built in here. So we're gonna find twelve volt or twenty four volt. Most likely, it might maybe just input though. I'm going to have to, uh, well, yeah, I, I'm going to do a, uh, <coughs> to find out the next video. So now let's find out a uh, the supply voltage here. I already connect 24 volt here. Okay, so set on, this is a negative. Well, I mean, obviously capacitor, you can see this is a negative, this is positive. So you can just connect the either end as a negative and then to here, five volt. So this inverter is using a 5 volt driver. So 5 volt is not going to work with our driver. So
24 volt. 24 volt. So the only way to make it work would be connect this wire. Okay. This wire. Red wire to 24 volt, black wire to one. Okay, so I'm gonna solder it and then I can show you later. So I solder the wire, show you. Positive, negative. Now we're gonna mount the inverters, which one, this one. Yeah. Connect the wires. We just wanna mount it in those between these two ICs. Peel off. All right, clean it first. See this? So I already put by the touch screen. So let's take a look, see uh, see how it works. So this is positive 24 volt, this side, okay. Oops. Flip over. Hmm. So I put back all the screws and I connect the power supply again to test it. Then looks pretty good. See this? Nice and bright. Okay, thank you for watching.